Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Learn English with Podcast Conversation. Today, we're diving into an inspiring topic: how to turn failures into successes. That's right, Jennifer. We'll explore how failures aren't the end; they're opportunities to grow. This episode is packed with practical advice on learning from mistakes and building resilience. And as always, this podcast is a great way to improve your English listening skills while gaining valuable life lessons. So let's get started. The first step to turning failure into success is changing how you view failure. Instead of seeing it as the end of the road, see it as a detour, a chance to learn something valuable and try again with more experience. Absolutely, Jennifer. Failure is a part of life, and everyone experiences it. When you see it as a stepping stone, you remove the fear around it. It's not about avoiding failure, but about learning how to grow from it. For example, think about Thomas Edison. He famously said, "I haven't failed." I've just found ten thousand ways that won't work. That mindset is key. Each failure brings you closer to success if you keep trying. Exactly, and when you fail, ask yourself, "What can I learn from this?" That simple question shifts your focus from self-criticism to problem solving. It's not about being perfect; it's about improving. And don't forget to be kind to yourself in the process. Failure can feel discouraging, but self-compassion is crucial. Remind yourself that it's okay to make mistakes. They're proof that you're trying something challenging. Well said, Jennifer. Growth doesn't happen in comfort zones. Failures push us out of our comfort zones, and that's where real progress begins. It's all about your mindset. Failures are powerful teachers. They show us what doesn't work, which helps us refine our strategies. Think of failure as feedback. It's information that helps you improve and try again with more clarity. That's a great point, Jennifer. Feedback from failure is often more valuable than success. Success might feel good, but it doesn't always show you what needs fixing. Failure highlights areas for growth. For instance, if you fail at a job interview, instead of giving up, reflect on it. What questions stumped you? What can you do to prepare better next time? Each failure gives you tools to succeed. And failures also teach resilience. The more you face setbacks and keep going, the stronger you become. Resilience isn't about avoiding failure; it's about bouncing back each time you face it. Failures also teach us humility. They remind us that everyone is a work in progress. Even the most successful people you admire have faced their fair share of failures. It's all part of the journey. Exactly. So instead of being afraid of failure, welcome it as a chance to learn. The most successful people aren't those who never fail; they're the ones who learn and adapt after failing. One effective strategy for turning failure into success is reframing your mindset. Instead of saying "I failed," say "This didn't work this time." That slight change in language makes a huge difference in how you feel and move forward. Great tip, Jennifer. Another strategy is to set small, actionable goals after a failure. Big goals can feel overwhelming, but breaking them into smaller steps makes progress feel achievable and keeps you motivated. Absolutely, Thomas. And don't forget the power of reflection. Take time to analyze what went wrong and what went right. Reflection turns failure into a learning moment instead of a discouraging event. Another key is to surround yourself with supportive people. A positive support system can encourage you to keep going when failure feels overwhelming. They'll remind you of your strengths and potential. And let's not underestimate persistence. Keep trying, even when it's hard. Every failure is one step closer to success. The only true failure is giving up. Stay persistent, and you'll eventually get there. Absolutely, Jennifer. Success is often just one more attempt away. Keep learning, keep growing, and remember that failure is never final. It's just part of the process. Failure is a sign you're trying something challenging, and that's where growth happens. It's easy to stay in your comfort zone, but failure shows you're pushing your limits. Growth only comes when you dare to take risks and learn from setbacks. Exactly, Jennifer. 
Growth isn't always easy, but failure forces us to adapt and improve. When you try and fail, you gain new insights and skills you wouldn't have learned otherwise. Embrace the process and trust that you're becoming stronger with every attempt. And let's not forget emotional growth. Handling failure with patience and resilience teaches emotional intelligence. It helps you manage stress and disappointment, skills that are just as valuable as tactical or professional knowledge. You're spot on. Each failure is an opportunity to strengthen your character. It's not just about achieving success. It's about who you become along the way. Resilience, patience, and determination are all products of embracing failure as a teacher. Let's look at some real-life examples. Did you know that J.K. Rowling, the author of Harry Potter, was rejected by 12 publishers before her book was accepted? Imagine if she had given up. Her persistence turned rejection into a worldwide phenomenon. That's a great example. Another one is Steve Jobs. He was fired from Apple, the company he co-founded. But instead of giving up, he used that failure to grow, eventually returning to make Apple one of the most successful companies in history. And Oprah Winfrey, she was told she wasn't fit for television early in her career, but she didn't let that stop her. Instead, she used it as fuel to prove her critics wrong, becoming one of the most influential figures in media. These stories remind us that failure isn't permanent unless you let it be. It's just a chapter in the larger story of your success. Use these examples as inspiration. If they can turn failure into success, so can you. A big step in turning failure into success is taking responsibility for it. It's easy to blame others or circumstances, but when you own your mistakes, you gain the power to change. Accepting responsibility is empowering because it puts you in control. That's true, Jennifer. When you own your failures, you shift your focus to what you can do differently next time. It's not about feeling guilty, it's about taking charge. Responsibility is the first step toward meaningful change and progress. Taking responsibility also builds credibility. When others see that you can admit your mistakes and learn from them, they respect you more. It's a sign of maturity and integrity qualities that help you grow personally and professionally. And remember, taking responsibility doesn't mean being hard on yourself. It's about being honest with yourself and using that honesty to grow. Learn to balance self-accountability with self-compassion for the best results. Failure isn't the end, it's feedback. It's like a roadmap pointing out what didn't work and where you can improve. Reframing failure in this way makes it less personal and more practical. It's simply a part of your learning journey, not a reflection of your worth. Exactly, Jennifer. Think of failure as a guide, not a judgment. If something goes wrong, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? What will I do differently next time? When you see failure as a stepping stone, it stops being scary and starts being useful. And this mindset shift makes a huge difference. Instead of avoiding challenges out of fear, you'll embrace them because you'll know every experience teaches you something valuable. Over time, this approach builds resilience and a growth-oriented perspective. You're so right. Resilience grows when we stop fearing failure and start seeing it as a tool for improvement. Each setback is a unique opportunity to fine-tune our strategies, develop new skills, and prepare ourselves better for future challenges. A failure-resilient mindset starts with self-compassion. It's okay to feel disappointed, but don't dwell on it. Treat yourself as you would a friend acknowledge the setback, remind yourself it's temporary, and focus on your next steps with kindness. Great advice, Jennifer. Self-compassion is key to bouncing back. And let's add optimism. When you believe that failure is temporary and success is possible, it's easier to keep going. Optimism fuels persistence, which is often the deciding factor in achieving goals. That's a good point. And let's talk about adaptability. A resilient mindset means being flexible. If one plan doesn't work, try another. 
Resilience isn't about stubbornly sticking to one path, it's about finding new ways to reach your destination. Exactly. Flexibility is vital. Combine that with a strong support system, friends, mentors, or colleagues who believe in you, and you'll have the emotional and practical tools to recover from any failure and turn it into a stepping stone. After experiencing failure, the next step is to act. Start small if you're hesitant. Each action builds momentum, making the next step easier. For example, if you failed at a presentation, Practice with a friend or record yourself to rebuild confidence. That's great advice, Jennifer. Small, consistent actions not only rebuild confidence but also create a sense of progress. They remind you that failure is temporary and that every effort, no matter how small, brings you closer to success. And don't forget to set realistic goals. Break big challenges into smaller, manageable tasks. When you achieve even one small goal, it motivates you to keep going. Celebrate these wins, they're proof that you're moving forward despite setbacks. Absolutely. Progress is progress, no matter how small. Celebrate your effort and persistence. Over time, those small wins add up to big successes, and failure becomes just one part of the story, not the whole narrative. Reflection is powerful after failure. Take time to think about what happened and why. Did you miss any warning signs? Were there skills you lacked? Honest reflection isn't about blame. It's about gaining insights to improve next time. Exactly. Ask yourself constructive questions. Instead of why did I fail, try what can I do better next time. This shifts your focus to solutions. Reflection allows you to spot patterns and helps you identify areas for growth and better planning. And writing it down can be even more effective. Journaling about failures lets you process your emotions and track your learning. Over time, you'll see how much you've grown by overcoming challenges and turning lessons into action. That's a great idea, Jennifer. Writing creates clarity. When you see your thoughts on paper, it's easier to connect the dots between your actions and outcomes. This process also helps you let go of negative emotions and start planning your comeback. A growth mindset is essential. If you believe abilities can improve with effort, failure becomes less intimidating. It's not about being perfect right now, but growing over time. Every mistake is a stepping stone in your personal and professional development. Exactly. A growth mindset changes how you see challenges. Instead of thinking, I can't do this, you'll say, I can't do this yet. That simple shift opens up possibilities and motivates you to keep learning and trying no matter the obstacles. It also helps you embrace feedback. People with a growth mindset see constructive criticism as a gift, not an attack. If someone points out a weakness, they see it as a chance to improve not as a reason to quit or feel bad about themselves. That's such an important point. Feedback is like a map it shows you where to focus your efforts. When you welcome input from others and combine it with self-reflection, you create a powerful toolkit for turning failures into opportunities. Lessons from failure are only valuable if you act on them. Start by setting specific goals. What will you do differently next time? For instance, if you failed an interview, plan to improve your communication skills or research the company better. Right. Jennifer, action bridges the gap between failure and success. Taking deliberate steps, even small ones, builds confidence and creates momentum. Each action shows that failure didn't stop you, it redirected you toward a better path. And remember, persistence matters. Success often comes to those who refuse to give up. Think of famous inventors or entrepreneurs they failed repeatedly but used each failure as fuel to refine their ideas. That persistence paid off. Absolutely. Resilience and action go hand in hand. Failure is just feedback. With each step you take, you're closer to your goals. Keep learning, adjusting, and moving forward. It's the journey that turns failure into lasting success. Failure is a universal experience. Everyone fails at some point, from students to CEOs. What separates success from stagnation is how you handle those moments. 
When you see failure as part of the process, it becomes a teacher, not an enemy. That's so true. Think about it. Failure often means you're pushing boundaries. If you're succeeding 100% of the time, you might not be challenging yourself enough. Mistakes show you're taking risks, and risks are where real growth happens. And, Thomas, we can reframe failure instead of saying, I failed, try, I'm learning. This mindset reduces the fear and pressure. It reminds you that failure isn't final, it's just feedback that guides you toward improvement. Exactly. It's about progress, not perfection. The greatest achievers didn't avoid failure, they embraced it as part of their story. Remember, each failure builds resilience and brings you one step closer to mastering any skill or goal. Another key to overcoming failure is leaning on your support network. Share your struggles with trusted friends, mentors, or family. They can offer fresh perspectives, encouragement, and even solutions you hadn't considered. Absolutely. Jennifer, support systems remind us we're not alone. Talking through a failure can help you see it more clearly and less emotionally. A mentor, for example, might have faced similar challenges and can guide you with their experience. That's right, and it's okay to ask for help. Whether it's advice or just a listening ear, support from others can help you process failure and regain confidence. Collaboration often leads to breakthroughs you wouldn't achieve alone. Yes, and the act of sharing your journey with others builds deeper connections. People relate to honesty about struggles. It's inspiring when someone turns failure into success. It motivates others and fosters mutual support. After a failure, it's crucial to celebrate small victories along your journey to recovery. Did you take a step forward, no matter how small? Recognize it? This positive reinforcement keeps you motivated and builds momentum for future successes. I agree. Too often, we wait for the big win to feel accomplished. But small wins matter just as much they show progress. Each small success is proof that you're moving forward and that failure hasn't stopped you. Celebrate those moments. And celebrating doesn't have to be extravagant. Treat yourself to something simple, like your favorite coffee, or share the good news with a friend. These small acts of recognition fuel your determination to keep striving. Yes, celebrating even the tiniest progress keeps your mindset positive. When you consistently acknowledge your efforts, it strengthens your belief in your ability to succeed, transforming failure into an essential part of your journey to greatness. Analyzing failure objectively is a game changer. Instead of taking it personally, break it down. Ask, what went wrong? What can I do differently? This approach shifts your focus from self-blame to problem-solving and creates opportunities for growth. Great point, Jennifer. Self-blame leads nowhere. But when you dissect failure, you find the root cause. Maybe it was poor timing, a lack of preparation, or miscommunication. Identifying these factors allows you to address them directly and improve next time. And it's important to keep emotions in check during this analysis. Write things down if that helps. A clear mind will help you see the situation as it is, not worse than it is. Objectivity transforms failure from a setback into a stepping stone. Exactly. Writing is powerful. It organizes your thoughts and makes patterns visible. Reflecting on failure is like debugging a program you're finding what's not working and rewriting it for success. That's the mindset that leads to growth. Resilience isn't built overnight, it's like a muscle. Every time you face failure and bounce back, you strengthen that muscle. Over time, you'll find setbacks don't hit as hard because you've trained yourself to adapt and keep moving forward. That's so true, Jennifer. Resilience is about consistency. It's waking up after failure and saying, I'll try again today. Each attempt adds a layer of strength. It's like climbing a mountain. Every step prepares you for the next, no matter how steep. I love that analogy, Thomas. And part of resilience is trusting that tough times will pass. Remember your past victories times you thought you couldn't overcome something but did. 
Those memories fuel confidence for future challenges. Absolutely. Resilience is cumulative. It's built from every small act of courage, every lesson learned. When you view failure as part of the process, it empowers you rather than discourages you. You start to see challenges as temporary, not permanent. Failures can actually pave the way to success when you turn setbacks into stepping stones. For example, if you didn't get a job, use that as motivation to refine your skills, update your resume, or practice interviewing. Each setback is a chance to grow. Exactly, and often, setbacks reveal hidden opportunities. Maybe that job wasn't the right fit, but the rejection pushed you towards something better. Sometimes, failure redirects us to paths we wouldn't have explored otherwise. That's such a great point, and the key is to stay proactive. Instead of dwelling on the loss, ask yourself, what's my next step? By focusing on what you can do now, you shift from feeling stuck to feeling empowered and ready to move forward. And this mindset applies to every area of life. Whether it's a failed project, relationship, or goal, there's always something to learn. When you use failure as a stepping stone, you're not just bouncing back, you're bouncing forward, stronger and wiser. Life is full of uncertainty, and failures are part of that unpredictability. Embracing this uncertainty helps you focus on what you can control. It's not about eliminating risks, but managing them wisely. Growth often happens outside your comfort zone. Exactly, Jennifer. Think of it like planting seeds. You never know which will sprout, but you plant them anyway. By accepting uncertainty, you allow yourself to experiment and take chances. Failure becomes less scary and more like part of the process. And when you embrace uncertainty, you develop flexibility. You learn to pivot when things don't go as planned. It's a skill that's valuable not just for personal growth, but also in professional and social settings. Adaptability is key to success. Absolutely. Flexibility turns setbacks into opportunities. When a door closes, look for an open window. Adapting to change isn't just surviving, it's thriving. The more you practice this mindset, the easier it gets to navigate life's twists and turns. Failures can actually strengthen relationships. Sharing your struggles with trusted friends or family builds deeper connections. It shows vulnerability, which fosters trust. Plus, their support and perspective can help you navigate tough times more effectively. True. Jennifer, opening up about failure humanizes you and lets others see your authentic self. People respect honesty. Often, their feedback or shared experiences provide insights you wouldn't have considered alone. Collaboration makes growth easier. And it's reciprocal. When you share your failures, others feel safe sharing theirs too. This mutual vulnerability creates a strong bond. Overcoming challenges together makes relationships more meaningful and resilient. You grow together. Absolutely, and in professional settings, admitting mistakes and learning from them earns respect. It shows you're accountable and willing to improve. Whether personal or professional, using failure to strengthen connections is a powerful way to grow. Fear of failure often holds us back. But what if you viewed failure as an opportunity instead of a threat? Every mistake is a chance to learn, refine, and get closer to your goals. Shifting this mindset turns fear into excitement for what's possible. That's a great point. Jennifer, fear is natural, but it doesn't have to control us. When you reframe failure as feedback, it loses its sting. Instead of I failed, think I learned something new today. This small shift can make a big difference. And it's empowering. When you view failure as an opportunity, you take charge of your growth. You stop avoiding risks and start embracing them. Every step, whether forward or backward, becomes part of a bigger journey toward success. Exactly. When fear fades, curiosity takes its place. You start asking, what can I discover? How can I grow? This mindset not only helps you overcome setbacks, but also encourages you to explore new paths you might have never considered. Resilience isn't just bouncing back, it's growing stronger with each setback. 
Think of it like building muscle you have to face resistance to grow. Every failure is a chance to strengthen your foundation. It's about progress, not perfection. Absolutely, Jennifer. Resilience teaches you patience. Success rarely happens overnight. Learning to persist despite obstacles builds long-term endurance. The ability to stay steady, even during storms, often determines how far you'll go in life. And resilience isn't just about enduring, it's about thriving. By reflecting on failures, you find innovative ways to move forward. It's like recalibrating a compass. You may change direction, but the goal remains the same. Growth is a journey, not a sprint. Well said. Resilience also inspires others. When people see you facing challenges head-on, it motivates them to do the same. By overcoming failure, you not only grow yourself, but also create a ripple effect of positivity and courage around you. One common trap is setting unrealistic goals, which can lead to unnecessary failures. Start small and build gradually. Achieving smaller goals boosts confidence, making larger ones seem more attainable. Failure then becomes a stepping stone, not a wall. Exactly. Unrealistic expectations often create unnecessary pressure. Break your goals into manageable pieces. Celebrate small wins along the way. This way, even if you stumble, you've still made progress. It's about enjoying the journey, not just the destination. And when you set realistic goals, failure becomes less daunting. You know that each setback is part of a larger process. It's not about winning or losing, it's about learning and growing. Manage your expectations, and failure won't feel like the end of the road. That's a great point. Small victories build momentum. With each step, you gain clarity and confidence. When failure happens and it will, you're better equipped to handle it because you've built a strong foundation of incremental successes. We often celebrate successes, but what about failures? Each failure represents courage you tried something new, stepped out of your comfort zone, and learned. Celebrate those moments. They're proof you're growing and striving for more. I love that perspective. Jennifer, treat failures like milestones on your journey. Each one brings you closer to your goal. Acknowledging them shifts the focus from shame to pride. It's a powerful way to reframe failure and keep moving forward. And celebrating failure reduces its fear. When you see mistakes as progress, you're less afraid to take risks. It creates a positive cycle where you're constantly learning, adapting, and improving. The more you celebrate, the more confident you become. Exactly. Failure is often the best teacher. By celebrating it, you honor the process of growth. You remind yourself that success isn't about avoiding mistakes but embracing them. It's about turning every experience into a stepping stone. A growth mindset transforms how we view failure. Instead of seeing it as a dead end, consider it a detour. Each setback is an opportunity to refine your skills and strengthen your character. Growth doesn't happen in comfort zones, it thrives in challenges. That's true, Jennifer. With a growth mindset, you learn to separate your identity from your mistakes. You're not a failure just because you failed. Instead, you become someone who tries, adapts, and improves that shift changes everything. Exactly. It's about focusing on the process rather than the outcome. When you embrace a growth mindset, you stop fearing failure and start valuing the lessons it brings. Over time, you'll notice that even failures are part of your progress. And it's empowering, too. A growth mindset teaches you to celebrate effort, not just success. Each attempt, whether it works or not, is a step forward. When you see failure as part of your journey, resilience and creativity naturally follow. Fear of failure often stops us before we even start. But what if you reframed it? Instead of asking, what if I fail? Try asking, what if I don't even try? Often, the regret of not trying is worse than any failure you might face. That's powerful, Jennifer. Fear of failure can paralyze us, but understanding that failure is temporary helps. 
It's like falling off a bike you can get back on, learn to balance, and eventually ride confidently. The fear fades when you take that first step. And fear loses its grip when you focus on action. Break down your fears into smaller, manageable steps. Each small victory builds momentum, making fear less intimidating. Facing your fears head-on often reveals they're not as big as you thought. Absolutely. Action is the antidote to fear. The more you confront it, the more it diminishes. Failure is often exaggerated in our minds. Once you face it, you realize it's just another part of learning temporary, necessary, and ultimately rewarding. Perfectionism can be a hidden barrier. It makes you believe that anything less than perfect is a failure. But the truth is, perfection is an illusion. Focus on progress instead. Each imperfect step is still a step forward, and that's what counts. Well said, Jennifer. Perfectionism often creates unrealistic standards that set us up for failure. Accepting that mistakes are natural helps you grow. Instead of chasing perfection, aim for improvement. It's more realistic and much more fulfilling. And letting go of perfectionism opens the door to creativity. When you're not afraid of making mistakes, you take risks and explore new ideas. It's in those moments of imperfection that innovation and true growth happen. Exactly. Perfectionism can hold you back from starting. Remember, the best ideas often start messy. Embrace the imperfections, they're part of the process. By letting go of the need to be perfect, you give yourself permission to succeed in unexpected ways. Resilience grows when we reflect on failures with honesty. Ask yourself, what went wrong? What could I change next time? This isn't about blame, it's about learning. Reflection gives you clarity, turning setbacks into a powerful tool for future success. Absolutely, Jennifer. Reflection allows you to reframe failures as feedback. Instead of thinking, I'm bad at this, try I'm improving step by step. By focusing on the lessons, you'll notice how much stronger and wiser you become after every stumble. It's also a chance to celebrate small wins. Even in failure, there's progress. Maybe you tried something new or stepped out of your comfort zone. Resilience comes when you honor those efforts, realizing they paved the way for your next breakthrough. Yes, celebrating small wins builds momentum. When you acknowledge even the tiniest progress, you shift your mindset from what you lack to what you've achieved. That shift inspires hope, which is essential for bouncing back stronger every time. Planning for failure might sound odd, but it's practical. Think of it like a safety net. Ask yourself, what will I do if things don't go as planned? When you have a backup plan, failures feel less intimidating and more manageable. That's a great point. A failure plan doesn't mean you expect to fail, it means you're prepared to adapt. For instance, if a presentation flops, you might follow up with an email explaining your ideas. Being proactive turns setbacks into recoverable moments. And having that plan builds confidence. You know that even if things don't go perfectly, you're ready to handle it. It's like navigating a storm with a map you may hit rough waters, but you won't lose your way entirely. Exactly. It's about turning fear into strategy. When you know how to respond to setbacks, they feel less overwhelming. A good failure plan reminds you that success isn't about never falling, it's about always finding a way to get back up. The people you surround yourself with play a big role in how you handle failures. Supportive friends, mentors, or colleagues can provide encouragement, fresh perspectives, and advice. They remind you that failures don't define you, they refine you. True. Jennifer, sharing your struggles with others can be incredibly healing. Often, they've been through similar experiences and can offer wisdom. A strong support network reminds you that you're not alone and helps you move forward with renewed confidence. And don't forget to seek out role models who've turned failures into successes. Their stories can inspire you to keep going, showing that setbacks are just temporary chapters in a larger journey. Surround yourself with people who uplift and motivate you. Yes, positivity is contagious when you're around people who believe in you. It strengthens your belief in yourself. 
Lean on those who encourage you to grow and push forward. Together, you'll find success even in the face of setbacks. Failure is often life's greatest teacher. It shows us what doesn't work, but more importantly, it helps us discover what does. When you embrace failure as a learning moment, it becomes a stepping stone rather than a roadblock. Absolutely, Jennifer. Think of great innovators, many of them failed repeatedly before succeeding. Edison famously said he didn't fail a thousand times, he found a thousand ways that didn't work. That mindset transforms failure into a key part of success. And it's not just about success in the big picture. Failures teach us patience, resilience, and self-awareness. Each lesson we gain strengthens our ability to tackle future challenges with more confidence and wisdom. That's right. It's also about building emotional intelligence. Failure forces you to manage disappointment, regulate emotions, and maintain focus on your goals. These are invaluable life skills you can carry into every area of your life. Sometimes we label events as failures to quickly. What if we paused and asked, what's the silver lining here? Shifting your perspective from loss to opportunity can uncover hidden growth that you'd otherwise miss. Great point, many so-called failures are simply redirections. A job you didn't get might lead you to a better opportunity. A project that didn't work out could spark an even more creative solution. Perspective changes everything. And that shift isn't automatic, it's a habit you can build. Start small. When something goes wrong, challenge yourself to find one positive takeaway. Over time, this becomes second nature and setbacks feel less daunting. Exactly. It's about retraining your mind to see possibilities where you once saw problems. When you view setbacks as redirections rather than dead ends, you unlock new paths to growth and success. It's an empowering mindset. One of the most empowering things you can do is take ownership of your journey. Instead of blaming circumstances or others for failures, ask yourself, what can I control? What can I improve? This mindset gives you the power to shape your future. That's so true. Taking ownership doesn't mean taking all the blame. It means taking responsibility for your actions and choices. When you own your journey, you stop feeling like a victim of failure and start feeling like the author of your success. And this perspective shift is liberating. When you see failure as a temporary setback, you realize it doesn't define you. What matters is how you respond and what steps you take next to keep moving forward. Exactly, Jennifer. Ownership transforms failure from a stumbling block into a building block. It's not about avoiding mistakes. It's about learning, adapting, and taking charge of your growth. Success comes from consistent effort and resilience. One of the best ways to turn failure into growth is by treating it as feedback. Ask yourself, what went wrong? Why did it happen? What can I do differently next time? This reflection process turns mistakes into a roadmap for improvement. Absolutely. Feedback isn't just for external things like jobs or projects. It's for personal growth too. A failed relationship, for example, teaches you about communication, trust, or even your own boundaries. Every failure has a lesson to offer. And the beauty is that feedback leads to action. Once you identify what didn't work, you can implement changes. Whether it's refining a skill, adjusting your approach, or even shifting your attitude, every tweak moves you closer to success. Exactly. When you adopt a feedback mindset, failures feel less personal and more practical. It's not about your worth as a person, it's about refining your methods. That mindset alone can turn setbacks into powerful tools for growth. Building resilience often requires repetition. The more you face challenges and bounce back, the stronger you become. Each experience, no matter how tough, adds another layer to your ability to endure and succeed. That's so true. Resilience isn't built overnight, it's a muscle. Every time you push through a failure, you're training yourself to handle future obstacles with more strength and less fear. It's about consistency and persistence. And it's okay to feel discouraged at times. Resilience doesn't mean you're unaffected. 
It means you'd keep going despite the setbacks. Each time you rise, you prove to yourself that you're capable of overcoming even the hardest moments. Exactly. Think of it like climbing a mountain. Each step may feel exhausting, but every step also brings you closer to the peak. Resilience is about taking one step at a time, trusting that your efforts will eventually pay off. One of the most overlooked strategies for bouncing back from failure is celebrating small wins. Each time you learn from a mistake or make progress, take a moment to acknowledge it. These small victories fuel your motivation to keep going. Absolutely, Jennifer. Small wins remind us that progress doesn't have to be huge to be meaningful. It's those tiny steps forward like improving a skill or making a better decision that add up to major breakthroughs over time. And celebrating doesn't have to be elaborate. Acknowledge your efforts with a simple, I'm proud of myself, or treat yourself to something small. These acts reinforce positive behavior and make the journey more enjoyable. Exactly, by celebrating progress, you shift the focus from what you didn't achieve to what you're building. This mindset helps you stay motivated and reminds you that success is a process, not just a destination. Setbacks often feel like failures, but they're really just detours on the path to success. Changing your perspective can make all the difference. Instead of asking, why did this happen to me? Try asking, what can I learn from this experience? That's a game changer. When you shift your mindset, you stop seeing setbacks as roadblocks and start viewing them as opportunities. Each stumble is a chance to reassess your goals, refine your approach, and grow stronger in the process. It's also about recognizing that setbacks are temporary. Just because something didn't work out today doesn't mean it won't work out tomorrow. With persistence and adaptation, even the biggest obstacles can become stepping stones to success. Exactly, and sometimes setbacks point you toward a better path. Maybe a job rejection pushes you toward a role that's a perfect fit, or a failed project teaches you skills you'll use in your next endeavor. It's all part of the journey. Another key to turning failures into successes is leaning on your support system. Friends, family, mentors, they can provide encouragement, advice and a fresh perspective when you're feeling stuck or discouraged. Absolutely. A good support system reminds you that you're not alone. Sometimes just talking things out with someone you trust can help you see solutions you might have missed. Their belief in you can reignite your confidence. And it's not just emotional support. Practical advice from someone who's been through similar challenges can be invaluable. They can help you navigate your setbacks and turn them into opportunities for growth. Exactly. Surrounding yourself with positive influences also helps you stay motivated. When the people around you believe in resilience and growth, it's easier to adopt that mindset yourself. Success is often a team effort. Success often requires embracing uncertainty. The fear of failure can hold you back, but when you accept that uncertainty is part of growth, you free yourself to take risks and explore new opportunities. That's so true. Uncertainty is uncomfortable, but it's where growth happens. Every new skill you learn or challenge you face starts with not knowing how it'll turn out. That's not failure, it's bravery in action. And the more you face uncertainty, the less intimidating it becomes. You realize that even if things don't go as planned, you'll find a way to adapt. This resilience transforms uncertainty into a space for possibilities. Exactly, by embracing uncertainty, you stop waiting for the perfect moment to act and start creating your own opportunities. It's about trusting that no matter what happens, you have the strength to handle it and move forward. Learning from others' failures is just as important as learning from our own. When you listen to the stories of people who've faced challenges and bounced back, it can inspire you to keep going despite your own setbacks. Definitely, those stories can remind you that even the most successful people have faced failure. It's not about avoiding mistakes, it's about how you recover and learn from them. Everyone's journey is filled with bumps along the way. And sometimes, other people's mistakes can teach you more than their successes. 
you get to see what went wrong and how they handled it. That knowledge can guide you through your own challenges, making your path smoother. That's why it's so valuable to seek out mentors or read biographies of people who inspire you. Their failures, combined with their successes, show you what's possible if you're willing to stay resilient and keep learning. A growth mindset is key to turning failure into success. If you see failure as something temporary and a chance to improve, you're much more likely to keep pushing forward, even when things aren't going as planned. Exactly. When you have a growth mindset, failure isn't a personal reflection of your abilities. It's a sign that you're on the right track, challenging yourself and learning. Embrace it as part of your development. When we have a fixed mindset, we see failure as final. But with a growth mindset, every setback is an opportunity for learning. You can always improve, adapt, and do better next time. A growth mindset allows you to stay motivated through challenges. Instead of thinking, I can't do this, you start thinking, I can't do this yet, which opens up a whole world of possibilities for improvement and success. Building resilience is crucial to handling failure. Resilience is like a muscle it gets stronger the more you use it. When you face setbacks, don't give up, keep pushing through and learn from each experience. That's so important. Resilience isn't about avoiding pain. It's about being able to handle it and keep moving forward. Every time you bounce back, you strengthen your ability to cope with future challenges. And it's not about being immune to failure. Resilience means feeling the disappointment, but not letting it define you. It's about taking what you've learned, adjusting, and trying again with even more determination. Right. Resilience is about the willingness to try again. Even when things don't go as planned, knowing that you have the ability to learn and grow through each experience helps you stay focused on your long-term goals. One powerful way to approach failure is to reframe it as feedback. Instead of seeing it as a setback, think of it as valuable information that helps you improve. It tells you what's working and what needs adjustment. That's a game changer. Viewing failure as feedback turns it from something negative into something constructive. It gives you a clear path forward, showing where to make changes without getting discouraged or defeated. Exactly. When you embrace failure as feedback, it's no longer something to fear. It becomes a tool for growth. You get the chance to analyze what went wrong, adjust your approach, and try again with newfound insight. After experiencing failure, it's important to set realistic goals. Break down larger objectives into smaller, more manageable steps. This way, you can make progress without feeling overwhelmed by the bigger picture. Setting small goals also gives you the chance to celebrate victories along the way. Each small achievement builds momentum and keeps you motivated. It's about creating a sense of accomplishment even after a setback. Exactly. These small wins add up and can completely change your outlook. They build your confidence and reinforce the belief that you can keep moving forward, even after experiencing failure. Perfectionism can be a major roadblock after a failure. When we demand perfection from ourselves, it creates immense pressure, which only increases the chances of failure. Instead, focus on progress, not perfection. Yes, perfectionism makes you afraid to fail and that fear can keep you from trying. It's better to accept that mistakes will happen and that's okay. Imperfection is part of the process and helps us learn and grow. Right, embrace the fact that not everything will be perfect and that's perfectly fine. It's about progress, persistence, and learning from the process. When you let go of perfectionism, you're free to grow through your mistakes. Resilience is built through persistence, especially after experiencing failure. The more you keep going, the stronger you become. Even when things don't work out, you gain valuable experience that equips you for future challenges. Persistence helps you develop mental toughness. When you face setbacks, it's easy to get discouraged, but the key is to keep moving forward. Resilience isn't about avoiding failure. It's about bouncing back each time stronger. That's true. Each time you face failure and rise again, 
you're reinforcing your resilience. It's a skill you develop over time, and the more you practice it, the more naturally it comes to you when faced with challenges. It's crucial to celebrate progress rather than focusing on achieving perfection. Acknowledge each step you take, no matter how small. Success isn't only about the end goal. It's about appreciating how far you've come. Celebrating progress builds confidence. When you reward yourself for small victories, it boosts your motivation to continue pushing forward. It's also a reminder that growth is a journey, not a destination. Exactly. Every bit of progress counts. It's about recognizing that even if you haven't reached the final goal, you're still on the right path. Celebrate that journey and the momentum will carry you forward even in the face of failure. Another way to turn failure into success is by surrounding yourself with positive influences. Seek out people who encourage and uplift you rather than those who bring you down. Their support can make a huge difference in how you handle setbacks. Absolutely. Positive people can help you shift your mindset after a failure. They can provide encouragement, share their own experiences, and help you keep things in perspective. The right support system can make all the difference. When you surround yourself with positivity, it reinforces your belief that failure is just a part of the journey. These people can remind you that setbacks don't define you, they're just stepping stones towards something greater. Dot, dot. Self-reflection is an essential part of turning failure into success. By looking back at our mistakes and learning from them, we can identify what went wrong and how to avoid it next time. It helps us grow, adapt, and make better decisions. Self-reflection also enables us to see patterns in our actions. We can identify habits or thoughts that may be holding us back and through that awareness, we can create positive changes. The key is being honest with ourselves. Absolutely. It's not about beating ourselves up for past failures, but rather using them as tools for growth. When we reflect, we realize that every mistake holds a valuable lesson that can guide us toward future success. Adopting a growth mindset is one of the most powerful ways to turn failure into success. This mindset believes that abilities and intelligence can be developed through hard work and dedication. Instead of fearing failure, you see it as an opportunity to improve. A growth mindset encourages resilience. When you believe you can improve, you approach challenges with a more positive outlook. Even setbacks become part of your learning process rather than obstacles stopping you from moving forward. Exactly. With a growth mindset, failure becomes an essential part of the learning process. Each mistake is an opportunity to evolve, and you begin to see your setbacks not as final defeats, but as necessary steps towards success. Taking action after a failure is crucial. It's easy to get stuck in overthinking or fear, but taking proactive steps forward helps break that cycle. Start small, take one step toward your goal, and that momentum will push you further. The key is not to stay stagnant. Taking action, no matter how small, proves to yourself that you're not defined by your failures. Each step is a reminder that you have the strength to keep going and eventually you'll reach your goal. That's right. Action leads to progress. Even if it's a tiny step, it moves you closer to success. Each action you take after a setback builds confidence, helping you realize that failure doesn't have to be the end. It's just part of the journey. Persistence is key when it comes to bouncing back from failure. The more you keep going, the stronger you become. With each challenge, you're building resilience. Remember, it's not about how many times you fall, but how many times you get back up. That's true. Jennifer, persistence doesn't mean everything will go perfectly every time, but it means you're committed to improving. Every effort you make, no matter how small, contributes to your growth and makes success more achievable. And it's important to celebrate the small wins along the way. Each time you overcome a challenge, you build confidence. Recognizing these victories, even the minor ones, fuels your persistence and motivates you to keep going. Absolutely. It's often the small steps that lead to the biggest results. So, even when the road seems long and tough, remember that each effort is a building block toward your ultimate goal. 
Persistence is what turns small efforts into massive achievements. Sometimes, people think success happens overnight, but in reality, it's a long journey. By staying persistent, you begin to see that failure is just a temporary setback, and every step forward brings you closer to success. Right, and persistence helps us embrace the idea that setbacks are part of the process. They are not failures unless we stop trying. So, if we keep learning from our mistakes and pushing forward, we're on the path to success. Exactly, and the resilience we build through persistence not only helps us handle future failures, but also equips us to face new challenges with confidence. With each experience, we become stronger and more prepared for what's ahead. And that's the beauty of persistence. Each attempt, each failure, and each lesson learned is helping us become more resilient and closer to turning our dreams into reality. So, never underestimate the power of persistence. As we wrap up, let's remember that the journey to success is not always linear. There will be ups and downs, but embracing the process is what truly shapes us. Every mistake and failure is an opportunity to grow. That's right, Jennifer. It's important to understand that each failure teaches us something valuable. Embrace it, learn from it, and use that knowledge to keep moving forward. Success doesn't happen overnight, and that's okay. And don't forget to be kind to yourself along the way. We often focus so much on success that we forget how important it is to acknowledge the effort we put into the journey. Self-compassion is just as essential as persistence. Absolutely, Jennifer. Progress might be slow at times, but the key is to keep going. Even on tough days, remember that each step counts. Celebrate the small wins and stay positive because you are making progress every day. In the end, the greatest achievement is not in avoiding failure, but in overcoming it. Keep learning, keep growing, and most importantly, keep believing in yourself. Success is built on resilience, persistence, and a positive mindset. So, to all of our listeners, remember that failure is just a step toward success. With every challenge, you're getting closer to your goals. Keep going, stay persistent, and you'll see that your efforts will pay off. Thank you all for tuning in today. We hope this conversation has helped you see failure in a new light. Keep using your setbacks as stepping stones, and never forget that you're capable of great things. Yes, thank you. Keep pushing forward, embrace the journey, and most importantly, never give up. We'll be back next time with more tips to help you turn challenges into opportunities. Until then, take care and keep believing in yourself.